Welcome to the second part of your NEBOSH certificate course. This part of the course, Unit 2, is made up of seven chapters or elements. Element 5 contains explanations of six physical and psychological health hazards. That's noise, vibration, radiation, mental ill health, work-related violence, and substance abuse. Element 6 is about musculoskeletal health and covers the topics of work-related upper limb disorders, manual handling, and mechanical load handling equipment. Element 7 deals with chemical and biological agents. Element 8 gives an explanation of a wide range of general workplace issues, such as welfare provision, working at height, confined space entry, loan working, safe movement of pedestrians and vehicles in the workplace, and work-related driving. Element 9 is about work equipment and the hazards and control measures associated with simple hand tools, power tools and machinery. Element 10 is concerned with fire safety and covers basic fire prevention, the control of fire spread, fire alarm systems and fire evacuation. And finally, element 11 covers the hazards and risks of electricity and typical workplace control measures. The common theme that runs through all of these elements is that they deal with specific hazards or hazard categories and the practical control of risk. They do not deal with management issues such as accident reporting or auditing, which were dealt with in the first part of the course. These last seven elements are assessed by the practical assessment and not by an exam. So studying in the way that you studied for Unit 1 does not make sense here. You do not need to revise and remember lots of information to complete the practical assessment. The practical assessment requires you to carry out a risk assessment exercise in a real workplace. This risk assessment exercise uses a fairly standard approach, but because it is for assessment purposes, it does require you to write additional explanations that you would not normally put in a risk assessment. At the start of the assessment, you have to explain the nature of your workplace and the methodology used. You then have to identify at least 10 hazards from at least five of the hazard categories covered in elements five to 11. You have to briefly explain who might be harmed and how. You also have to identify the current control measures in place for each hazard and the additional actions that should be taken with appropriate deadlines and responsibilities for each action. You then have to select three actions requiring urgent attention and write a detailed explanation justifying your top three choices. Finally, you have to set a review date for your assessment and explain how you intend to communicate your findings and how you intend to follow up the assessment to check that actions have been taken. There is a standard form that you must fill in as you complete each part of the assessment. This form and additional guidance is available on the NEBOSH website. Once you submit your assessment, it will be marked by NEBOSH and given either a pass or a refer, depending on whether it meets the required standard or not. But you must achieve a pass in the practical assessment in order to achieve the general certificate qualification. More information and help on the practical assessment is presented in the practical assessment guidance sections at the end of elements five to 11, where you will find a description of each step of the process and an explanation of what to do and what to write. You will also find further guidance as well as hints and tips in the final reminders chapter at the end of unit two. I hope that you enjoy the second part of your course and I wish you good luck with your studies and the assessment.